Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, I hinted to this in the video the other day, so I'm going to use this as a Knife Show Sunday video. I recently had to do some interaction with Gerber. Uh, I bought this knife years ago, back when I first got into law enforcement. At around, oh, I'm wanting to say I bought it around 2000 three-ish, 2004-ish. What it is, it is the Applegate Turbin folding knife that Gerber put out. Now, love this knife. I love the design of it. I've been crazy about the fixed blade version of this for years. When they come out with this downsized folder, because they make what is called a combat folder, which is like almost a foot long but when they come with this downsize I had to have one and I carried this knife at work for years the blade is 154 cm it had a serrated section right there and I broke a bunch of the teeth off of it so I tried to just put a flat sharpen back on it and it worked for the most part uh, if you notice right there Neither one of those two top holes have screws in them. Those were the screws that held the clip on on this knife. It is a liner lock. It has steel liners inside of it. You can't see them, but it's got steel liners inside of it. And then it also had this safety catch on the back that when you pushed it down, it blocked the liner lock so that you couldn't see it right there. So that you couldn't accidentally hit the liner lock and cause it to fold up on your hands. Now, I recently contacted Gerber about this knife and told them what was going on and told them it had some sentimental value to me that I really would like to have it repaired or replaced. That was in July. Well, the way things are running with what everybody is now calling the Kung Fu Flu, it was August before I got a response back from them. The response that I got back said that the repair center was closed, that they were sorry about that, that they saw that it had sentimental value, wanted to know if it would be okay if they would just send me another knife. And I said that would be fine. And I said, if you had a version with a straight edge and no serrations, that would be even better. Didn't hear anything up until about a week ago. And I got an email from them that said that my replacement knife parts was in the mail and I should be receiving it soon. They sent me all the tracking information. Well, Thursday, I get this in the mail. I get it, open it up. Once I get it opened up, they have sent me a whole new knife. They sent me this. Now, the first thing that you can tell with this one is it has metal handles on it, which is fine. I don't have a problem with the aluminum handles on this. But then you notice this, which automatically I knew what it was. This is a safety and it is a automatic knife. And as you notice, there are no serrations on the blade. And even better, once I got to looking at it, it is right there, S30V steel. So I have no complaints. This is not the first time that I've had to send a knife to them to be repaired. My video on my Gerber Mark II, that was a heirloom given to me. And when it was given to me, the tip was almost perfectly round instead of pointed. And the handle, the two ears on each side of the handle, were broke off. Which was apparently a common thing if they were used very hard, if that makes sense. 
So I contacted Gerber. They said send it back to them. I sent it back to them. They reshaped the end of the blade, put it back to its original shape. Then they removed the original broke handle off of it and put a new handle on it. Now, the only thing with that is the new handle's all black instead of the black and gray like the original. Uh, they did send me a certificate of authenticity saying that this was an original Gerber. They had repaired it and all of that. So if down the road I ever try to get rid of it to a collector, there's the documentation as to the work that was done to it. So can't say enough about Gerber and their customer service. Went from that to that. So, Gerber, thank you guys. Y'all did a heck of a job. I appreciate it. <clears throat> That's all I've got for you. Um, do me a favor. Well, now nah, I'll tag it in another video. I'll put that in another video. So, that's all I've got. Like, share, subscribe. I'll get another one up for you soon.